guys, we're talking about practice. So distracted. Today. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's amazing. Before we get to this one, though, do you remember this yeah. moment? Take a look. Take a look. Aaron is going to take you on a one-of-a-kind fall camping trip. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. We're going to have that story and so much more uh, on the news at 4. Again, about 12 Very minutes nice. or so. Who are right. those? Were those llamas? Thanks. It looked like llamas. Was, Was that, that a llama? Alpacas. Alpaca. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Adorable. Er, it was oh, how nice. dumb are we? We didn't know what you were. We're so, so sorry. Cute. You guys, we didn't know the difference between the alpaca, the llama. We know more now. We know llamas are usually bigger with elongated ears and faces, but that that chat got us wanting to learn more. They're apparently cuter than llamas, too. Did you know that you can find alpacas not too far from Chicago? Magic Meadows Alpacas is in the far northwest suburbs, and we've got owner Sally Kazanis and our new fran friend Rainier here to chat. Welcome and Mike, to you both. Mike, you're here too. And Mike, yes. Doing the hard work <laughs> yes, for you us. you are. You're the wrangler today, the alpaca wrangler. Okay, so tell us. I mean, how did you get into the alpaca farm business? Um, it just happened. We were we are actually a horse farm, and we were there for about a year. Uh -huh. And I wanted something sustainability. Uh -huh. And I met the uh, breeders uh, like a year before we I bought the alpacas. And so a year later, I went ahead and I said, "Hey, I'm buying alpacas. I want a sustainability." Well, for a while, I was sustaining them, and now they're sustaining themselves. Aww. And I told Mike, I said, "Hey, we have alpacas now, and we, we I bought two females, and they come pregnant." Oh, so, and wow. we have to pick them up in a month. Oh my so, goodness! Oh, wow. We start out Surprise, as a horse farm. <laughs> <laughs> He's on board, clearly. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you guys have school groups and you do things with the alpacas. Has anyone ever made this? issue again like oh we thought it was a llama or are we yes. idiots no you're not idiots <laughs> no. a lot of people do yes oh, wow. and you know they they are very closely related to the llama uh -huh. so the camelid you have the camel the llama the alpaca then a vicuña and then others oh. after that so tell us about alpacas i mean what are uh, what are they like and do they all wear bow ties? Yes. No, so only Rainier for the show <laughs> yeah. only Rainier does um, they are actually from south america and now they are across the world, uh -huh. and they can live to be about 18 years old, give or take. Beautiful. Um, Rainier is six years old. Always friendly like this? He is very, uh, yeah. not all of them are friendly. Oh, he just is, you. He's special. He's just uh, you. We do have a female, Black Velvet, who's just as friendly. Uh, she just turned 15, though. Uh -huh. And we tried breeding them together, but she's just too old. Oh, but that's okay. Right. And then what do you guys do with the hair? Because I see a whole table over oh, here with you, socks you, and no, okay. Nothing goes to waste on them. It's yeah. just amazing. I mean, even if it's really bad fiber, you can just throw it to the birds. Okay. Uh -huh. um, they make nests out of them? Yes, they do. And the blanket, is the that's the premium. That's the sides oh. and the belly of the animal. That goes into making yarn and roving and socks. Okay. Everything. The neck is seconds. That can go with the blanket or it can be with the thirds everything else that is rug yarn okay and we do peg loom and weave. it's so soft yes. yes it is and how often do you have to like uh, harvest the the, the we fur we share the... them once a year and once that's year. it yeah and usually it's around beginning of may mid-may uh -huh. wow. and, and what do they eat uh, hey, uh -huh. we do. We brought grain if you want to feed him. Oh, yeah, sure. We, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, uh, we thought we, uh, you'd never ask. It's this is grass, exciting. hay, and this is a special grain by Dr. Evans, and it's only for llamas and alpacas okay. because they are exotic animals. Agriculture department does consider them to be okay. livestock, Great. but they are exotic. Just, just open your hand like, like that. This? Yep. Okay. Here yes. you go, buddy. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Just famous. You know, he's just famished. Like, they he only cannot... have teeth, teeth at the bottom. I love that. Oh, just like a cow oh, and sheep. Really? Oh, okay. yes. And it's yes, a yes. Uh, palette up on top. So yes. Rainier is uh, famous. Like, he's a celebrity. He is. So, like, you also have special appearances, right? Oh, yes, we do. We uh, take him around for businesses. Oh. And he was in a wedding. Uh -huh. And we also were hired by Animal, Chica Animal uh -huh. Talent of Chicago. Last December, he uh -huh. was in a pilot called Resignation. I okay. can't say too much more. He has like a five-second <gasps> part. Way okay. to go, and Rainier. He's phenomenal. Oh, wow. Oh, and your so names are, you're special. You're an Illinois maker. Can you tell us what that means? Oh, Illinois maker. So we're part of Natural and McHenry uh -huh. County, yeah. which uh -huh. is part of the tourism for McHenry County, part of Illinois tourism. Uh -huh. And we were asked by Christine and Jackie to apply to be an Illinois maker. Uh -huh. And that is through Illinois Tourism. They only recognize up to date, I think, 236 small businesses oh. in Illinois. 
They are very unique, locally made products. That's awesome. We are one of two alpaca farms to have been inducted. Unbelievable. Oh, and is they warm enough during the winter time? They are. They're okay. warmer than us. Okay. Good. Good to know. <laughs> yes, they are. It's like, give me more yes, food. Absolutely. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is amazing. Well, thank you for educating us. Oh, we yes, needed the education. Welcome. If you guys would like yeah. to learn more tickles <laughs> about Magic Meadows alpacas and get a petting zoo out to your event, you can head to Magic Meadows alpaca alpacas.com or head to their socials. Everything is there on your screen. Um, I know what I'm going to be doing in my next career. 